Welcome to Weld.com. I'm playing around with a, a different machine that I've ever run before. It's an Everlast 251 SI. It's a multi-process machine. Today I'm running TIG, and I want to do a, a, a set amperage just to, you know, it's, it'd be what the, on this program it would be called a 4T, where I, I do a lift arc, and I depress the contactor lift arc, let go of the contactor, and it just goes to 115 and it stays on 115. Um, and I'm gonna be, this, this looks like a big old nasty gap and everything, but I'm, I'm running a 532nd wire and 3 8 plate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run a root in here. I'm not gonna mess around with it. I'm putting a root in here. It should go pretty quick. So, is this common? Yeah, because when we get on large diameter pipe, uh, anything, uh, for me, anything above six inch and heavy wall. And I like, I love running the 532 wires. I've done some horizontal roots in plate and heavy wall pipe where I hang this wire on the backside, just on the top bevel face right there on the, if there's a root face on there, I, I put it up the top. Man, you can put some stuff in there in a heartbeat and uh, good profile on the back side. We're trying to get reinforcement and we're trying to get some, some good fusion on the back side. So uh, let me get my gear on and we're gonna come back. A couple things I wanna tell you is, you know, this is different than what I've, I'm used to. My old dry rigs, they all have the gas button on here and they're just hot all the time, whatever the face is. This has a contactor on it. One of the nice things about this is you know, right now it's in the wrong way, wrong angle for me. I can't get down here because of my table and stuff. I have to set this up for you, the viewer, with the camera angles. So what I'm gonna do, or what I'm able to do with this particular torch, is I'm gonna turn this upside down because I like to hang on to this thing in this direction and just walk the cup while I'm, while I'm going uphill. Well, if I'm coming off the bottom of a piece of pipe, I would be like this. But when I get up to about 9, 30, 10 o'clock on a piece of pipe, then I would be back over here and, and going the other way. So this is nice to be able to do that. Again, it's a contactor. I'm, I'm not, I, you know, I've used them before, but I've not used them a whole lot. So I'm not really used to it. I got to admit that to you. So let me get my gear on. We'll come back and play. Trying to leave this rod right on the leading edge of the weld pool here. I'm running a little softer rampage than I normally run. I have, this is a 532nd wire. I know I've got a 3 16 plus gap, just shy of a quarter. A sixteenth root face. And everything seems to be going in pretty nice. Fairly quick. I'm going to terminate this so I can leave a little open for Show and tell on the fit. Nice little pop there when we started our arc. I ran the root in here at 115 amps. I'm now running 160. I want to run hot enough to get this first fill pass in here. 
leave it flat, but I don't want to melt my root. So I spend a little more time out here on the bevel face. To me, this actually looks a little cold. I'm barely hanging on to this torch. I'm not shoving this cup in there to pressure wise as far as the shoving it in the groove. It's a number six cup. Put that second pass in at 160 amps. I'm now at 180 amps. Trying to weave one in here wide. I'm still not gonna get filled up to where I need to be to go to cap. But again, I'm just demonstrating the process off of a 4T program here. Welcome back. I, uh, this is kind of a follow up on what we had been doing here on our Everlast 251 SI machine with the uh, 4T program where we ran an open route with a 3 8 plate and we had about a, a 3 16 opening and I ran a, a 5 30 second wire ER70 S6 and I was running on this 4T program which means that I'm just whatever straight amperage I have set on the machine that's what I've got so kind of getting used to that and I ran the route at 115 amps, and this is what we got. I did the next pass at 160. My first fill pass was at 160. My second and third pass, my flush pass, was at 180. And I stopped there because there's a whole, the whole video on how to cap, a couple different things that we can do with multiple wires, how far you stick your tungsten out, your movements, all kinds of stuff. Plus, I didn't feel comfortable with uh, running that smaller cup, trying to do the, the, uh, the cap on there. So uh, again, 4T program, open, uh, just hit the contactor, lift arc, standard amperage, 115 amps for the route, 160 on the second pass, 180 on the next two passes, and then we stop there, we'll cap it off another time. So thanks for watching weld.com, I hope that helps. Those of you that are practicing this open route, if you have any uh, questions, make sure you contact us. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the videos.